Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, where we talk about CNC routers, and I am here to tell you it is not okay to wait. What do I mean? I'll get to that later. First, I want to update you on my long mill build and how I'm building up my table, and to ask you to leave comments as to what you think I should do as part of this build. Before I get to that, I just want to tell you, I have not been feeling good this week. And so that's why I have not been putting out videos or has been as responsive to emails. I'm starting to come out of it, but I am going to lay low until then. However, if you do make orders for router bits, I will certainly make sure that they get out the door. Especially if you want the, the starter kit. I want to show you something before we get into this long mill. Something that a friend of mine sent me, one of our brothers on uh, the channel, Bill. He sent me this tile where he burned in my picture in there and said, Garrett, and, uh, you know, it's just really cool that a brother cnc -er did that and sent that to me very humbly, and I've had a couple people do that, so it's very cool. All right, with all that being said, and me sweating my feverish brains out right now, let's just tell you where I'm at. When I have been feeling good, I have been working on this. So the long mill... 30 by 30 is now bolted down to a table, and the table is 58 wide by 48 deep by 35 tall. It is uh, very rigid right now. I'll probably add just a little more structure. I am not putting casters on the table. I will make a subframe that I can pick the table up and put them on or make a flip down caster system. I want the table to be rigid. And I am going to be putting a drawer here with the bolts, uh, bits, and what have you. And then I uh, want to let you know I've got a spoil board here, a sub-spoil board. I totally recommend that when you get your CNC router, make sure you have a, a, a spoil board on top of your table. I learned that the hard way with my Bob's Evolution 4 CNC router where I resurfaced that machine and by doing that created a step in the back where I could not pass the material through anymore. So when it comes to tiling, you need that capability. So the spoil board is not done. It's oversized right now. It's, it has to be cut to a certain size so I can maintain that ability to have pass through for tiling work. Um, one of the things I've done is I ran the machine through a break-in cycle. I want to let you know, if you get a long mill, I am going to be making a lot of uh, stuff available to you uh, where you can, the break-in program, how to do a spoil board, how to build a table. I'll give you my table uh, design and grids. What else? There'll be all kinds of stuff. I will be putting on the website right now. I will put the break-in cycle on my website. So look for that in the next couple of days after I get the feeling better. And I've got the mounts for my monitors. I've had some people say I'm going to get dust all over my computer. No, I won't because I have designed a cap that stops the air blast down to blow all that sawdust everywhere. I'm going to redirect it right back up. I learned how to do that. Now I just have to get somebody to 3D print it. I think I've got somebody to do that. And then I'm going to be putting an enclosure on it that will flip up and the router wire will go up through that with the dust collection hose. One of the other things I've done was make sure that the Y-axis motor on the opposite side, where that wire is going to be coming across, it is going through the table. I actually cut a slot in the table here. Uh, I probably could have gone through the table and back up, but my final design that I will make available to you for free will have that done in a different way. What was cool is I took this MDF. When I cut it down, I had all this extra MDF here for spoil board. And now I've got my material here ready to make my enclosure so with that being said i just want to give you the grand picture of it and your thoughts if you are a long mill owner and you've been through some of this please give me some of your input as to what you recommend i do everybody's got something to give all right so what did i mean by it's not okay to wait if you are in the market for a CNC router, you have looked at the Shapoko, you've looked at the Onefinity, and you've looked at the long mill here. And 
from what I have seen from people who have reached that point, they know they're getting a CNC router. They're just kind of stuck as to which one to get. And the reason most people are stuck at this point is because I mean, we call a spade a spade. All three of them are good machines. They make amazing projects, they're strong, built rigidly. So what is the determining factor that might make you decide which machine to get? Here was one of mine. I didn't want to wait three months. Let's look at it this way. I've seen on Facebook groups where someone has said, I want to get this machine, but I'm really concerned about the wait. Invariably, somebody in the comments says it's well worth the wait. You, as a, uh, an up-and-coming CNCer, you want a, a, to, to create something. That's what's drawn you to this. You spent a lot of time researching, trying to make a decision, and you're, you're stuck at this one point. My perspective is this. You can make your decision and wait three months where you can't make anything, or you can make a decision and purchase one that is available, and in one to two weeks, depending on where you are in the world, you can be creating something. What I mean by that is Long Mill may be the second well-known CNC router machine in the market, but Long Mill is the one that you will have in your hands in one to two weeks once you make your order. So maybe that'll help, maybe not. If you get the long mill, go down in the description, click the link to the long mill website, get your 30 by 30 order in, and in two weeks you will be making stuff. As far as I'm concerned, it is not worth the wait when you have that creative energy that is dying to come out. Personal opinion. All right, with all that being said, if you are brand new to CNC, you want to subscribe to this channel because I've got a lot of resources for you. I teach CNC router for beginners and about business and all that kind of stuff. I have the only starter bit pack on the planet that's complete where you buy this one and you'll have the pack that will do about 99% of your work. And on top of that, you'll get a bunch of other stuff. Click the link down below for that, and you'll see what I mean. I'm not one of those guys that just says, here's your bit. All right, have at it. I give you all the stuff you need behind it, too, and then some. You'll see. Get creating. With that, I am going to go back upstairs to my apartment because I'm not feeling good, and I'm going to go lay down and watch a movie. Nice action movie. I haven't done that in quite a long time. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, and that you don't feel the way I'm feeling right now. I'll talk to you later.